the tool truck from today. Brought the creeper down so I can stay off the wet ground. Hydraulic jacks, air compressor, the jackery to power the compressor, towels, impact wrenches, wheel nut sockets. Regular tool sets already down here, socket sets, all that kind of stuff. So cleaning wipes. The broom. Good little tool truck. Just by a glance. I don't like the look of this tire. Biggest tire problem that I noticed is on the other side. So tires are definitely on the agenda. Look at that. That's the sidewall, of course. And that goes pretty deep. And there's a couple of them like that. That, that being the worst. Some people have said they thought that the front part of a Cena Cruiser was the same as a 4104. It just kind of at a glance looks similar because the lines are kind of the same, but it is not at all the same. Um, the 4104 is actually taller in the front than the Cena Cruiser is, which might throw your brain for a loop. But even if you count like the fluting here, you'll see there's more fluting between the headlights and the bumper than there is on a Cena Cruiser. The windshields on the Scenic Cruiser are much lower down. Um, I mean, if I walk up here, this is to me right about my titty height. <laughs> and if I come over here and I keep my hand at my titty height, that's right there. That's how much taller it is. So they are not the same thing. They are definitely different. They just have similar lines. You know, you have uh, the D window and everything that kind of looks, it's just not the same. Some people can't tell a 4106 and a 4104 apart either. So that's, it's about the same similarity. So as soon as the owner gets here, we're gonna get this all uh, jacked up on the front end and we'll get looking at these king pins and stuff. I don't know what they going on. It's crazy lug nut covers here. Probably hiding too short of wheel studs. Oh, they're glued on too, even better. No, they got the right studs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? The top one up. Top one. Lift it up, it's a momentary switch for the starter. It's already in the rear, right? Yep. <laughs> Let's stop. Let's let's. I can't say for sure that he has everything hooked up on here. There's a lot of safety things on here. Um, let's go ahead and try and start from the front. You know, he may have a an interlock or something that's not hooked up. With an engine transplant that's modern and electronic, I don't know what's.
be like a road flare there and then another like registration probably stuck in that other little pocket there. I don't know, it kind of looks like it. I have to look in the manual. Do you have the manual for it? Yeah. Okay, I'll like probably show you. It doesn't say Greyhound on it. It's real poor. Cut out. Here pretty fast, that's good. We wouldn't have a busted airbag, would we? No, no, it has to do the brakes. That's, 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 that's all on the braking right. circuit. Yeah, yeah. This is your master shutdown right here. Just flip that to off, shut the engine off. Uh, yes, I believe. Is that what the first switch you flip just before you start it and then you hit your starter button? see without it running how long you're holding air for it's leaking a little bit I'll wait for a minute and see how many psi we're at I thought she was leaking a little bit but those what they call those air cans that leaked and like a diaphragm or something in there yeah but i think yours is something with your treadle i don't think it's actually i think it's something up here mm. so you're you're pretty close to to being okay there but this is a problem when i step on the brake pedal you don't have that noise because if you're at a stoplight your air pressure is just going down and 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 down. Did that pressure. cause it to jerk? Uh, if like you, if, well, if you don't realize that you lose your air pressure, your spring brakes are going to come on in the back, and then you're going to be dragging a brake until you build up your air pressure again. I wonder if I wonder if any of this had to do with with way sometimes it locks down on me. Oh yeah. Well, if you weren't paying attention, to what your air pressure is at? I mean, like I could start up and we drove it like five miles, come back. And then we're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and all of a sudden it just, just jammed on the brakes like that. That's what it's doing. It's, it's putting on your automatic spring brake in the back, which I have. Once that gets below a certain pressure in the back, it automatically goes on. And you can't, it resets the valve. You have to flip the switch in order to get it to release again. Well, you're supposed to. You're, I don't know what you have going on. This is an ICC switch that you have over here, which right. isn't the real, the real deal. But that might be what it's doing. But, yeah, we got to. Are you taping all this? Yeah. Okay, because I need... My brother wanted me to do all this, but my phone doesn't have enough storage. Oh, yeah. No no problem. Um, I can get a screwdriver, maybe. Try um, to wedge it out of there. You, you can try. I, I'm always afraid we're going to crack the plastic if we do that. But <laughs> his, A second ago, his hand slipped off of here, and he hit the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the and, and he laugh about it. Too. <laughs> and I laugh. I think it's funny. You weren't bleeding. <laughs> I wasn't bleeding. <laughs> Okay, now, see, right now my turn. Let me get a Let me get a putty to that. Oh, stinks. Almost. You have a very bad problem in your hub. I can already see it just from what I can see. Do you see any issue going on in there? Yeah, it looks like it got water in it. It's got it. water and rust in there. <coughs> Which means your bearings and races are probably shot. And if it's over on this side, it's probably on that side too. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, just, like, that's, that's a center disc on there. Which I'm never that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know about you, but you about, you're hanging out with about the most unlucky person sometimes. <laughs> well, since I'm an expert now, pulling these out. 
Watch me crack it. Yeah, it has to be because it's so cold why that rubber stopper don't want to come out. And it's not, it, it's really old rubber stopper, so it's kind of lost its elasticity. You think? Like, like I said, usually the, the plastic breaks before. You... Yeah, well. <laughs> you can buy new rubber plunger things too, the little stoppers. Stemco is the company that makes those caps. I don't want to tear the other thing too, you know? Yeah. damn spike things in a wedge <laughs> okay so this side doesn't have water that i see from here so let's you got a finger to stick down in there or I'm trying not to use it and if you, if you drag the bottom of the case with your finger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're gonna see if any little particles come Pick out up of metal that. and stuff yeah. right there at that ridge no that looks at least looks like oil see if you can get your finger down in there farther the oil looks pretty clean it's off, what is that, 90 weight? 90 weight, right? It's probably at 80, 90, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's clear. It's almost clear in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel anything metal or jabby or nothing. We'll, we'll have it apart to inspect it later, but at least we know now it's not the issue that the other side has. Yeah. Eight? Eight PSI? Sorry. Well, I'm sorry. 30. Okay. 35 or something. Okay, go ahead and step on it and hold it. It looks like the brake pressure switch. I just want you to rock the play out of it. So just, nope, just a little bit left and right till you feel the play. Okay. How much are you, let's move it like one inch left, one inch right. So, so now move it just a little bit where you feel the tension just start and then stop. I can feel something loose in there. Okay, hold it still. How much is it moving there? Uh, maybe an inch. That's an inch of movement? Yeah. Boy, that's just a fraction down here. I'll get to the other side in a minute. Sometimes that slick, slip yoke there is where it gets to play, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> put, put it that's just here. hopeful thinking? Yeah, that was... Uh... So just, just keep the tension on it. Wait, see, see it wiggling? Yeah, a little bit. That's kingpins. The whole thing's moving. Yep. Kingpins, right? Yeah. No, that's about ten thousand dollars. No, it's not. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at your face. No, no, <laughs> John. I, I, my wallet. I just heard it cry. <laughs> I heard it. It started to vibrate. <laughs> Do that again. No, <laughs> I don't want to hurt too much. Oh, oh my God. Well, we found the reason why it pulls to <laughs> one side. Oh shit. Okay, well we gotta find out why. It, it might not be the kingpin. It could just be extremely loose wheel bearing. Um, no, <laughs> it's not, no. <laughs> oh my God. It's probably kingpin, but we'll see. Yeah, it's probably kingpin. For an electric tool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Where's all those parts at? Let's we'll see over here. Do you say shocks got to be changed over here? They're bad, yeah. I was going to do it while we're here, right? Yeah. So, but by looking, you can see why I know your shock is bad because all the oil is out of it. So the bottom half of the shock is wet and the top isn't. Yeah, I see that. The oil's come out of it there. New hose, though. Yeah. That's a bonus. <laughs> the brake's not adjusted very well back there. Yeah, it is kind of loose, isn't it? Yeah, what I was saying, this comes out. Yeah. Pull that bolt out of there. Oop. Did 
just fine. Uh, <laughs> oh. It's definitely out of color. It's strawberry <laughs> milk or the <laughs> chocolate milkshake. It doesn't, yes. feel, doesn't feel loose though. We caught it just in time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've done this a hundred thousand times. Yeah. Is that the only one they bent over? Looks like. I always bend two of them. Rest okay. in here. You want to sit down? Clean towel? Yeah. You want to just wipe off a couple of those surfaces? I want to look at them. Yeah. Shit. They're rust. <laughs> we don't want that. No, you don't want that. Not not this heavy of a vehicle. All right, we're done with that. Put this here somewhere? Yeah. Let this drain for just a little bit longer. I'm going to pull it forward so I can... Power. That's me taking the pointy things off. <laughs> we're glued I don't know on. what the part, the term <laughs> is, but... Okay, now here's something you need to learn about this. You see on the end there, do you see what's wrote on the end of those studs? Yeah, that didn't even mean goes left hand. That is correct. Goes opposite. Yep, so you're gonna have that go clockwise. So yep. We can swap them out while we're at it. <laughs> no. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Just leave them. Yeah, but to the person that don't know any better than millennial, <laughs> that they true. won't know any better. You don't have to worry about anybody you stealing your wheels. How do you reverse this? It's right here. Push it the other way. Okay. There you go. thought you could trick me, didn't you? <laughs> huh? I told you before you tried it. <laughs> all right. Can you rock it any more than that? Or is that all you can get yeah, out of it? I've been in the bar now. Pull it back down, too, a little bit. I don't think it's that bad, really. You just, you just <laughs> no. want me to bend on this bar, that's all. I do not. Do Okay, do what now? You told me? Can you, can you wiggle it downward, too? Can you wedge it in there to wiggle down? There you go. Right there. That's fine. Go upside. Maybe. Where's a bigger one? I I can get a little more. There it says the dominator on the bridge. put the dominator on it. All right, you want to push just, down on? Just wiggle it. Wait, okay, I can't push down on this part, right? No. On, on like here? Yeah, we don't want to hurt the brake shoe. Okay, so I go. Oh. Okay, let's leave the bar there, and then I'm gonna let you. Yeah, I'd see what happened. The bearing went bad on this side, and they said, oh, shit, the king pen's bad. <laughs> I said, we're going to put this back together again and put these fancy nuts on it. And uh, nobody will think there's nothing nobody right. think, they said, damn, there's somebody did some work on it. <laughs> it's got fancy That's lug nut covers. That's how it works, covers. ain't it, huh? It must be all good. It must be all good. <laughs> I ain't stupid. Looks smart. like they had a beaver in there working on that nut too. Yeah, look, look. <laughs> I need, I need to hire that metal beaver. I, I got some. Let me get you a bigger. Um, this slips out, right? Yep. Okay. And this comes out. That's that spins. This spins. Go, see, turn it the other way first. I want to see how much out of adjustment it is. That's pretty, that's pretty close. That's yeah, you're, that's good. Okay. Um, another what's towel? all that vibration? <laughs> they said, oh my god, that looks like kingpins. I like how you're creating like a Jackson Pollock down there in the oil. Is that nice. what that is? <laughs> no, they look like ink blots. Yeah. <laughs> looks like dollar signs to me. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, to you. <laughs> to me too. 
Do you think you can sell that? Yeah. <laughs> you can try. Huh? I don't like the rest that I see in this one. Like, even though it's a lot more, a lot less watery than the other one, there's mm -hmm. definitely rust in there. I see rust in it. All right, what's the chance of these bearings being in? Just, there you go. I'm impressed you didn't shoot it out to the ground. Uh, so yeah, I've done this before once or twice. Ooh. It's been spinning oh, on me. It's been hot, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do we do here? One the rag. Yeah. Now we can pull the whole drum off, but hang on, let me get something for the oil. Yes, two lug nuts that were stuck, but that's good. You can probably try the tool now. They're different something, sizes. Something close, huh? maybe not. Yeah, one, one, they're... All right, where am I going with it? Um, you want to set it in the bus? Stand it up on end in the bus somewhere? Maybe. Definitely see metal flakes in there, though. There's lots of little shininess. Grab that nut and make sure it's not loose with the rag. It's not. Okay, so let's grab the four inch socket, the great big gray one. Is it behind the bus still? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> we're gonna hope it wasn't heat cooked down there is what we're gonna hope. Try pulling the hub back and forth a little bit, see if there's any kind of wiggle in the hub. Can you grab, like, grab those? Yeah. Well, does it want to pull f forwards and backwards at all towards you? Like straight towards you? No? Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so let's grab that next little ring, and you're going to pull it off. It sucks in the cold weather. It just should pull straight towards you. I know. Try turning it a little bit one way or the other. I tried that. That's so disgusting. Oh, shit, okay, man. so now there's another nut in there. Another nut, you should yeah. be able to get it with your fingers. And I want you to turn it Titan direction to see how far it turns to the Titan direction before you take it off. Okay. Ain't no Titan. You can't turn it at all? Ah. But it is coming. Okay. Ah. Okay. So it wasn't too bad out of adjustment. It wasn't too bad, right. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it all the way off because we're going to inspect the, <sighs> the bearing. But I don't like that I saw the metallic stuff on there. Yeah. I'm sure it's got to be fixed. I'll tell if you don't... <laughs> All right, so now this that is like a damn of nastiness getting ready to flow out of there. There is 100% though, there is metal. You, like, can you see all the sparkly yeah, yeah, in it? I was hoping you'd tell me different. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you'd tell me it was pixie dust, but <laughs> not that. No, that is not. <sighs> Maybe it's the rear end I'll eat up too. Uh -huh. the, the good news is I don't see it sparkly in the tube. Yeah, okay. Which would be the rear end, and because these are separate, good. and that, that keeps that from going into the mm. rear end. That's what that block-off plate is good for. It's a clear sign of a seal leak in there. Yeah, that, it's not quick enough, that's for sure. Yeah, it's quite a few turns. 
So what you're doing is you're pulling the spring back. Right now the spring is applied. There's no air pressure holding the spring back. Okay. So that's, you're manually cranking the spring back inside there. So once you get a couple inches on that, then that'll spin. Spin yet? Not yet. You know, I ain't, this bolt here is loose. tap and that should come right off of there. Just paint it on. Yummy. Yeah, time to get a rag and dig in. Hang on, let's get a cleaner rag than that. It's just it's just grease. That's a lot of grease. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put the big socket on. It's not caged or anything. No, just make sure you can't turn it by hand first. We just wanna make sure, it just lets us know that it wasn't crazy loose. I'll turn this? Yep, yeah, 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 does it turn the other way? Uh, no, this, this counterclockwise, way? yep. Uh, oh, yeah, that's loose as shit, keep going. Take it off. So, this one need to... There's, there is zero chance that these bearings were properly adjusted if that outer nut was that loose. <laughs> So, good thing we took this apart, because you would have lost this at some point. Damn. No, no tools required. <laughs> Where I put it? Um, here, just lay this on the ground, put that on top of it. Yeah, we're gonna owe $100 for rags. <laughs> the good news is, is my Patreon members buy those rags for me, so they're donated for free. The what now? My pa I have a, my Patreon members, they, they buy those for Patreon. me. Patreon. Should be able to just grab it. Just maybe to. take a glove off. I don't and you, want to. Yeah, you're gonna have to because I'm gonna. I need your fingers in a minute, anyways. <laughs> My arthritis. <laughs> well, this grease might be good for it. Okay, now the nut that's in there now, there's another nut. You can't really see it, but it's mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. Just I'm reach sure in there and go for it, Indiana Jones style. Okay, well, let me get some of this shit out of it. Right? <laughs> so I can already see it's super loose. Try to turn it to the Titan ways. I want to see how much you can turn it. That's already at least a half a turn you <clears> turned <throat> it. Keep going. <clears throat> that's it. Okay, so yeah, it was definitely out of adjustment. Go ahead and take it all the way off. If it's easier, you can put the socket on it now and, and turn the socket. Yeah, I'm, I'm already there. You're full on committed to the nastiness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the nasty. <laughs> Here's up. <laughs> documenting all this is like well he was all right when he <laughs> came in it's definitely leaking but hadn't made a huge mess yet i'm just glad these bolts here ain't fucked up so he's gonna take these hubs home and clean them get all that cook out of there that way he can save time when he brings them you know the parts here on tuesday and then uh, he'll have all this cleaned up for us, ready to go. Okay, so we got this all apart. Everything looked pretty good. Um, the bearings look pretty good. There was some signs of wear in there. We're going to repack them. There's some dimpling on the hubs, so there's they've been wearing in the uh, in the past. He's going to take the hubs and stuff home and get them all clean, 
cleaned up, brake drums. Uh, while these were leaking uh, with the wheel seals, uh, you know, they're all still pretty clean though. We're just gonna clean them up with brake clean. You still see the holes, they're not all filled with crap. Um, we ordered all new wheel seals back here. There's some wear on those radius rod bushings. We're gonna replace some airbags. Uh, the one front airbag is really bad. Brake springs we ordered on the front. Uh, that is the brake, uh, the stop lamp switch. That's one. If you, you know, I, earlier I wasn't sure if that pressure switch was the um, low air pressure switch or the brake. But once I thought about it, it happens when you step on the brake. So that's definitely the brake lamp switch. Um, get this all cleaned up up here. That spring is bad in the back there, and the other side, one of those springs is missing. So we're going to replace that. The wiper's good here on this side. We're going to replace the wiper, the surface that the seal rides on on the other side. Tie rod ends feel pretty tight. Um, I have to have all new bearings and races for this side that has, these were all rusted and pitted. Nasty. The bearings and the races are real pitted. And then that wiper in the back, you can see, is just disgusting. So we're going to get that off of there. Um, these we ordered. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're bad. They're, there's big rust holes in them, chunks. This is the airbag that's super sketchy. So we're gonna replace that. The power steering is leaking. Um, there's a puddle of pink fluid under there. Obviously tires, they know they're gonna need those. We talked about that, and tire safety. There's a puddle of transmission under there. Um, I don't know if that's going to have to get sent out and rebuilt or not. That is finger loose on the end, so I don't know if that can just tighten up. I've never messed with that, so we'll take a look at that, though. There was plenty of water in the air system back there. But uh, for one day's work, we got into a lot of things. We ordered a bunch of parts. Luke at U.S. Coach hooked us up. Uh, we're trying to get shocks. A bunch of shocks are bad, but Luke didn't have those in stock until he thought Tuesday uh, of this week. So uh, I can't think what else. Okay, well, that's all for today on this, but we've got a lot done. Uh, parts will be in on Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to start putting this thing back together. Um, but we did pretty good diagnosing things today.